Well, most indoor operations have shut down again here in Sacramento County, but local health officials say it's gatherings that are the true culprit behind the spike. When people gather with family and friends, they tend to drop their guard. So county health officials are now considering even putting limits on outdoor gatherings. Being outdoors is generally safer during the pandemic, but not always. Take, for example, getting a big group together to raft down the river. It is the outdoor gathering where people are congregating tightly on top of one another. Without social distancing or masks, the risk of spreading coronavirus is still strong. That's why Dr. Peter Bielinson says the county is considering specific guidelines for outdoor get-togethers. Along the lines of, we haven't done this yet, but along the lines of maybe six people um, besides your family, um, all separated by uh, six feet or more, wearing masks except when eating. Bielinson says gatherings inside and outside of people's homes are driving up cases in Sacramento County. And the asymptomatic spreaders are predominantly in the 25 to 40 year age range. And the young people tend to be asymptomatic more commonly without symptoms. So if, the, if they're not tested, um, they still may be shedding virus. That gets passed on to family through social circles and spreads in the community. In Sacramento County, ICU beds are nearing capacity. Bielinson says more than 650 surge capacity beds are available. We don't want to use the full. We don't want to end up like New York did a few weeks ago. And that's why we're talking about bending the curve back and trying to get people to follow the guidance. And those key guidelines, wear a mask, wash your hands, and social distance. Bill Inson says if cases continue to rise, we may be looking at enforcement and stricter guidelines in the near future.